problem that we have here is that we have um, things like this happen. Things disappear on your on your desktop and you don't know how to put them back on your desktop. So here's how we do that. And I'm going to just delete all these real fast and then we will put them all back. First, you're going to go up to your Start button. You're going to go down to All Programs. Then, we're going to click on the folder on Microsoft. Just click once. And now, we're going to go down to Word, because we use that quite a bit. Just hover. Just hover the mouse. Don't touch anything. Now, you're going to right-click. Right-click. This menu should come up. Send to Desktop Create Shortcut. You see what that says. You want to click right there with your index finger. All right, now we're going to click out, and there it is. Again, we go up to the Start button, go to All Programs, go to Microsoft, click on the little yellow folder on the left-hand side, click once. We're going to go to Excel, we're going to right click, we're going to send to Create Desktop, Create Shortcut. When you click out, it's always in this upper corner, okay? We're just, we're just going to keep doing this. We're going to write, now see, if we, we, we deleted Adobe Reader. We cannot, we deleted this one and we can't figure out that these don't work. You've got to either pin this to the taskbar or unpin it from the start menu. This is your taskbar. All these things, at, they're things at the taskbar. We'll go into that later. So right now you're going to go to all programs and remember you're not going to see Microsoft immediately. These are in alphabetical order so you scroll down because they're in a folder, because anything in a folder, there's a lot going on. See when I click here, look at all the things under accessories, which will do some things underneath there. And so here, we have to go to Microsoft. We're going to do uh, PowerPoint here, right click, send to desktop. When we click out, there it is at the top. And here we're going to go back to all programs and we're going to scroll up and there's our Adobe Reader. Right click, send to desktop. And while we're in here, we've got video land. We're going to click here one time and here's the player. We're going to right click, send to desktop. And again, we're missing one here, so we need to round out Microsoft with Access, a database, Send to, Desktop. And let's go up to the top here. We have Mozilla, Firefox. Right click, Send to, Desktop. We had Waterfox, which is a cousin of Firefox. We're going to right click, send to desktop. And we had Google Chrome, right click, send to desktop, and Internet Explorer. Right click, send to desktop. So all of these are now here on the desktop. Now all we have to do is Hover over them, hold the mouse down with your index finger, and move it underneath there. Same thing here, we're going to move this here, but wait. We don't have to move all of these one at a time. This is called a marquee select, and it lets you select from any corner, any angle. You don't have to be perfect with this, you just need to get the ones you want, or say you just want that one, you just want these two, or maybe you just want these two. This requires practice. This is where your skills and patience come in. 
learn to marquee select so that you can just get everything you want and then we can move it around as a unit. Look at that. So here I want to move this one. Well, I'll move these two first. I'll move these over here. This one here. And I will switch Oops. See there? I've got this one here and here, and I just want these two. I'm going to move this one over, and then I can see. So now these are all my browsers that I have together. These are all the ones, oops. These are all the ones that I had earlier. I can move these around as a unit when I mark key select. I can put this here my media player, which I think I just accidentally opened. I didn't mean to open it, but I did because I double clicked. We'll see if it opens. And then this one I could just drag over here. And that's how you marquee select and you get your icons back on your desktop. You can move them any place you want. And that's it. And I will see you in the next video.